Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for tuning in. So we're doing a completely different video today. I don't know if you guys have noticed, if you've been a part of the family for a little while, that your girl likes to switch it up a little bit and sometimes I'll wear wigs. I am completely new to the wig game and I am by no means an expert, but I get stressed out about them because I feel like it's so much work to get them installed and to get them looking right. I've always done them myself, learned from YouTube, never had an install done professionally. Sometimes it turns out great, sometimes not so much. So today I'm gonna do my first wig video, but spoiler alert, I'm cheating. You'll see in the video. Before we get into it, if you're new, I would love to have you join the family, so please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know when I upload. If you want to see me do my first wig video today, then stay tuned and keep on watching. Alright, so I laughed earlier because I'm kind of cheating. I have a wig that I just got in this week. It is by the brand Love Me Hair. I have so many wigs from this company. I don't know how I found out about them, but I just feel like their shipping is really fast. I've never had an issue with anything that I bought from them. Everything's always the way it is described. And I started off with just a regular closure wig like years ago, but I didn't try to blend it or anything and I always just felt like it was so wiggy. Then I started trying lace fronts and then the 360 lace, but I never like tried to do a ponytail or anything like that. I still just pretty much wear it in the same style that I wear my hair, but maybe it's a different texture or a different curl or something like that. So I jumped on the headband wig bandwagon <laughs> really late as of like a couple months ago because I was just like, that's so stupid, why would you do that? But for me, I started noticing like right now, I don't wanna curl my hair, but I also don't feel like this is really a style either. And if I wanted to go somewhere, it's raining, I don't wanna put heat on my hair, but I still want to do something with it. I do have some other headband wigs, but I finally bought one from Love Me Hair because I actually had a coupon and this one was a really good deal. I'm gonna do an unboxing, show you guys. I'm gonna put it on and give you my thoughts. Right off the bat, you always get a wig cap from them. I won't need it for this, but this will be great for my other wigs. There are two in this package. Then you always also get cute little gift bags and this comes with the headband that you can sew in which i have no idea how to do that so there's that they give you a scarf if you're doing an install you can tie down your hair in the front so that's always good and then they also give you bobby pins and a baby hair edge brush which i will need for this video and then they always give you these little love me headband, not headband, but barrettes. I don't know if people actually wear these or not, but I'm not. Then you get your headbands. If you're not familiar with a headband wig, it comes with a standard black band and then you can put a different color headband on top. These are really nice headbands and there are three, four, five of them. So these are really nice because they come, you can have it tied in a little knot, like crisscross in the front. So yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna insert a picture on the screen, but I'm gonna tell you the details about this wig and why I chose it. This is the Wet n Wavy Affordable Headband Wig and it does say you get free trendy headbands. Currently, it says it's limited edition, regular price $349.75. It's on sale for $139.90. It does say that this is a beginner and lazy girl friendly wig. There's no glue, no lace, but it's a super realistic look. Zero skills to install with 10 seconds, breathable and comfortable headbands, high ponytail and bun available, affordable price. And they say that the headbands are random. 
This is the Wet n Wavy 100% Virgin Hair Natural Black Wig. The reason I picked this one, as you can see from the picture, it is actually curly, but you can also straighten it and wear it straight, and then you can re-wet it and wear it curly again. So I felt like I was getting two for one. That is the only reason I picked this one. So this is what it comes like in these cute little bags. And then when you pull it out the bag, it has this net on it. Let me back up so you guys can see. And then it comes with this little paper. And then this is the wig. Very soft. Love the length. And then it does have two combs. I don't know if you can see those here in the front and then also a bigger comb in the bottom and then your headband with the velcro to put in your neck i'm gonna put this on i'm actually gonna straighten it for you guys show you how that looks and then see if we can re-wet it and actually make it get curly again all right i tried to back up some so you guys can see everything if you see my bruises excuse that I had to get worked on. I do have a competition coming up and my shoulders have been bothering me, so that's what that is. So my hair right now is just in a really low knot. I don't care about that. And I know a lot of times people will wash their wigs and do all kind of stuff first, but this is just, we're just winging it. We're gonna see how this goes. So I guess we'll start by where we wanna clip it in the front. Oh, there is a clone also in the very front in the middle. So I'm gonna start that about how far back I want this to go. And then I'm clipping it in the back. Now the thing is, I'm gonna tell y'all right now, I don't do baby hairs, I don't do <laughs> all that stuff. So I will probably add a little more mousse in the front of my hair just to make it lay a little flatter but with this texture I don't think I have to worry too much about it being like oh it doesn't match or any of that so just to get this out of the way and then we're going to attach the headband in the back and this is not very tight. I didn't look to see if they had combs where you can tighten it, but this is long. So, I mean, as you can see, like this does not match my hair texture, but you can also pull it down more to cover more of your hair if you want. I personally don't want to do that because I got a big forehead, so I want my forehead covered. But right off the bat, like, she is cute. The hair doesn't feel tangly. There is a little bit of shedding, not bad at all. And like, I haven't even done anything to it. Talk about put on and go. I'm gonna see if I can just kinda slick down these hairs in the front so I don't look too crazy. So if I was actually wearing this to go somewhere, which I am not today, I would probably try to do a little bit more with the front of my hair, but I am just, I don't know. Like I see people doing all this stuff with baby hairs and like slicking and brushing and pulling and that stuff just gives me so, so much anxiety because I feel like the front of my hair is very fragile and I do not want to be doing all that pulling and tugging. Like this is enough. So that is it. So that is the front of my hair. That is the headband. I can put another one, but I'm good with black. I'm gonna have to change lenses so I can zoom out because I do want to be able to flat iron this and I can't reach it. So give me one second. So here you can see, I hope you can see the texture of this hair. I think it is absolutely gorgeous and I love, like I have my part on this side. I can just kind of, you know, part it, give it a little sass. The more you run your fingers through it, the more the curls are going to separate and you'll get a little more texture, but you can also wet it and keep it nice and tame. 
See, I do, I don't know if you guys can see that. I do have a tiny little bit of shedding. And then I'm gonna see. See, this is the texture I like. It's kind of, it's not kinky, but it's not so tame either. So you can get it to frizz up. I say frizz, but you know, have a little texture. And the way my hair is in the front, I think this actually looks better brushing through it. Ooh, that gets big. Look at this. I was not expecting that because this is just so wet and wavy. It didn't say anything about having a kinky texture. But... So we're gonna take a little piece here in the front and we're gonna see what happens. If I try to flat iron it. So I just have this regular schmegala old flat iron. I did not worry about getting my really nice one for this. So it almost makes it look like the kinky straight texture. I'm sure I could get this flatter if I used my other flat iron. I just don't want to right now. So if I move this out of the way, you can see the hair is straight, but it still has a little bit of texture to it, which I actually prefer. I don't like super bone straight hair. So back up so you guys can see the length. So this is the length down to here when it's straightened versus curly. This looks way longer than 16 inches, but I am in love. All right, so now let's see if we can get this to curl back up. So I have this conditioning mist. This is the AG Hair Care Detangling Spray and it's moisturizing. So we're just gonna spray a little bit of this. And then I'm gonna add some mousse. See the curls coming back. You can see the pattern is coming back. I'm just gonna take some water. I'm just gonna mix it in with the rest of the hair and just kind of scrunch it all together. Guys, look how cool this is. I'm so glad I got this wig and I never thought I would love big curly hair, but come through, love me. These wigs can be so expensive, especially if you get human hair ones and you have to take care of them like they are your hair. So make sure you're not just using, you know, no products or crap products. Yeah, you all my curls back. Look at that. And then when it dries, I'm gonna comb it back out like this to see if it'll go all the way back to this. I am thoroughly shocked and blown away. The pattern is back. I hope you guys can see this. This is the wet hair here. So let's just go ahead and tame the rest of this back down a little tiny bit. See now it goes back to looking like the wet and wavy versus the big and kinky but i love the versatility of this and if you want to just put it straight back you can also do that she is too cute but yeah it's back the curl is back so that is it for this video guys i know this was really short and very simple but I don't know if I was in the mood to do a full install today and I just got this wig in so I wanted you guys to see what it looked like because you're gonna see me wearing this a lot. I hope you enjoyed it. If you've been thinking about getting a headband wig and you're not sure, the versatility of this is amazing. You can poof it, you can get it to be nice, wet and wavy, you can wear it straight and for less than $150, that's basically like three wigs in one. So if you're not familiar with Love Me Hair, I think this is an amazing brand. And if you wanna try a headband wig, 
I suggest this one. Thank you guys for sticking with me to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Look at this lip. Let me put it on this side. Ooh wee. <laughs> Who am I? Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.